Hi, I'm going to explain how the modules environment is being used here at the CAC. The modules environment gives users much greater control of what software packages and environment variables are defined for each user in a very efficient manner. This is probably best shown through an example. Say you wanted to do some development of your code and wanted to rebuild it using Ethernet so you could test it on the head node. Normally you'd have to change your path, man path, MPI home, and other variables to test your code. With the modules environment, all you have to do is load the version of the software you want to use. When you log in, the MPISH compilers built using Miranet and PGI are loaded by default. You can see what modules are currently loaded using the module list command. To see what modules are available, use the module avail command. If there are multiple versions of a software package, there will be one that is the default. If you do not specify which specific version of module you want, you will get the default version. This way, we can install upgrades and you can test the software before we make a newer version, the default. Now I'm going to compile some code with two different compilers to show you how it works. I'm going to build the example code first to run over Ethernet. We'll need to swap compilers. First, unload the module impish using module unload. You can see that it's gone. Next, we'll find and load the version we want. We want the impish over Ethernet version right here. And let's load it. You can verify it's the correct one. And it is. So next, let's build the code and run it on the head node. Now that it's built, let's run it. And it runs properly. Now that we know that it works, let's recompile it using the Miranet version of Impish. Previously, we used unload and load, but you can also use module swap. We'll unload Impish that we have currently loaded and load the default version. Let's recompile the code. Next, let's submit it to the PBS queuing system. It's important to use the minus capital V flag when submitting to PBS. The minus V captures your current environment and recreates it on the compute node. We can verify that it's running. And in a few seconds, it will be done. Lastly, Modules has the ability to write your own module files. It looks in the directory Private Modules in your home directory. For example, if I wanted to test some code and wanted a variety of things set up in a specific way, I could create a single modules file which I can reference. In this case, I created a file called Interactive, which unloads the current MPISH environment and loads an Ethernet based one. I've also created a specific PGI flags environment variable for compilation of my code. To see that it's available, use the module, of, module avail command, if you can spell correctly, and we'll load it. You can see that it loaded the Ethernet based version and that it sets the environment correctly. Hopefully this will get you on your way to using the modules environment. You can read more using the man pages for module and module file as well as the documentation on our website. As always, email us if you have any questions.